Some students felt that almost always the insults they received in their professional environments were indirect and women have to work much harder to prove their worth. A lot of the times it's just men who think women are in it for the guys and for the cute boys. And it's like, no, we're in it because we want to be in this profession and we want to use our voices and do what we love without any judgment. We have to come more forceful, more prepared, um, you know, leave no, stir no stone unturned and like really be thorough about our preparation because if we don't, um, this, the tiniest slip as a female, especially going into politics or law, just knocks you down way further than it would your male counterparts. Kamala Harris is the first woman of color to be nominated as vice president on a major party ticket. President Olian felt that anyone in such a position was definitely a role model. Person who provides you with a vision of what you could be and you can relate to that vision is a role model and is encouraging. That's why we want more um, representativeness, more people of color, more students of color, more faculty of color, more staff of color to be role models to others because they show the way. They show that you can be that person. Some of the female leaders had advice for women who wish to be future leaders. Don't look at your gender or your skin color as a barrier to success. Think of it as something that makes you stand out and use that to your advantage. First and foremost um, piece of advice that goes without saying is to excel at what you're doing because never have any reason that people could say to you that you are less than excellent. And so that's a minimum but insufficient requirement. Reporting for Q30 News, I'm Hepsi Barajan.